As you navigate the World Wide Web, clicking through a variety of websites and hyperlinks, you're often met with a dilemma. You have to either navigate away from your current location to follow a link, or open it in a new window. After a while, you can lose your place or run out of space. With Internet Explorer's tab feature, you can navigate via tabbed browsing, meaning you may open and move among multiple web pages within one browser window. Instead of clicking a hyperlink and navigating away from your current page, you can open the link in a new tab. You can then switch between tabs by clicking them. All the tabs you open will appear beneath the Favorites bar at the top of the browser window. Each tab you open appears there in the order it was accessed. You can, however, rearrange your tabs by clicking and dragging them. You can also open a new tab without clicking a hyperlink by clicking the New Tab button or pressing Ctrl-T on your keyboard. You went to the Internet to find information about whales. You'll open a new tab to go to a general page about whales. If that page contains hyperlinks that you want to further check out, you will open those links in a new tab as well. When you're finished, you will close all related tabs at one time. As we can see, we currently have one tab open, and it is displaying the MSN.com homepage. Let's open a blank tab now. To make this happen, we'll use the New Tab button, which is located to the right of the current tab. Now we have a second, untitled tab open. From here, we will begin a new search for information. Before we do, though, let's look at the contents on the new tab. Tabs such as this allow you to immediately do things like reopen a closed tab or reopen your entire last browsing session. The point of including these features is to make some common navigation tasks a little easier. Now let's go to a web page. If you click Next, we'll type its URL in the Smart Address bar for you. Now that we've entered the web address for you, go ahead and launch the page by using the Go button at the end of the Smart Address bar. We've launched a Wikipedia article that talks about whales. Now we're ready to open a page about a specific type of whale, the orca. At the same time, though, we don't want to lose our current page about whales. We can open the orca's hyperlink in a new tab by right-clicking the link and then selecting the Open in New Tab command. We can see that the page about orcas, which are killer whales, opened within the same browser window. However, it's on a new tab. To see the killer whale page, we just need to click its tab. Let's do that now. Now we can see the article on killer whales. Tabbed browsing is that easy. Notice that the two tabs on whales are green. Internet Explorer 8 color codes pages that are opened from the same source. This is called tabbed grouping and is intended to help you keep track of where all the tabs came from. Once you're done reading related pages, you can close them all at once. Let's try that right now by right-clicking the Killer Whale tab and then selecting the Close This Tab Group command. Notice the tab we started out with has been left open since it was not part of the Wikipedia tab group. We've learned how tab groups make it easy to read and use all related pages together. We've also learned how to open new tabs, open links in new tabs, and close tab groups. Using tabs is convenient for opening multiple pages as you go so that you can read each one at your leisure. All in all, they can help make your online experience more efficient and thus more enjoyable.